Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come and thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all that is evil. Amen. Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, just want to read for you from Psalm 62. It says, My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Brothers and sisters, as we look at what the Lord has to say to us today through the psalmist, David talks about his soul and he says, My soul finds rest in God alone. It's almost as if he's telling himself that nothing else makes sense to me, that my only strength is God. And then over and above that to make sure that his mind and his heart and his perspective doesn't go anywhere else. He says in God, he uses this word in God alone. In God alone. And he says it with so much love, with so much assurance that nothing else can be his fortress that nothing else can be his strength because he continues and he says my salvation comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress I will never be shaken he uses this word again he says he alone is my rock and my salvation Brothers and sisters, when we're in trouble, we turn to something strong. We turn to a good foundation, to someone who has a good foundation. David found his foundation in Jesus. He found his foundation in God. And so therefore, this evening, brothers and sisters, as we worship the Lord, as we turn our hearts to Jesus, as we turn our lives to Jesus, let this be the prayer of our hearts that God alone is my rock, my salvation. My soul finds rest in God alone. Because it's a very, it's a very old saying. It says, if, if God is all you have, then God is all you will need. So, before we start worship today, ask yourself, is God all I have? Or am I looking for other things? Am I looking for other perspectives? Because if God is all we have, then this word, God alone, will come alive to us. So that when we're, when we're in trouble, when we, when we don't know the way ahead, you know, and we say God alone, then the way will open up. When there's no clarity of thought, word, or action, and we're praying and we say God alone, it will open up. Everything that is closed will open up if our perspective is God alone. Everything, everything that is closed will open up with this perspective. And stand up as you call on the Holy Spirit this evening.
confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's just take this moment to confess our sins to God. Why hold that burden? Why hold that unforgiveness, that irritation, that anger? It's not required. Give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. No matter whose fault it is, your fault, the other person's fault. Give it to the Lord. Give it Let's make that surrender complete to God today. Just give any unforgiveness in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. Just give it to the Lord Jesus. And as you give it, know that when we confess, He forgives us our sins. In heavenly armor we'll enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. That's fashion against us will stand. The battle belongs to the Lord. In heavenly armor. In heavenly armor will enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. The weapon that's fashioned against us will stand. 
there are many powers that come against us there are many things of the world that come against us our own intellect sometimes is a problem and today as we worship as a community individually and as a community we tell the lord lord everything belongs to you everything belongs to you we say
by the blood of Jesus. We find every evil spirit for the foot of the cross, never to return again.
Just close your eyes, brothers and sisters. Don't waste your time. This is a divine moment. Don't look at anyone else but Jesus and Jesus alone. Let your thought, your word, your perspective, my perspective be Jesus. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord is moving right now. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord.
you have given me your life and i have accepted it i have accepted your life fully be assured of my grace my presence and my direction in your life do not be afraid the lord is healing six people here of back pain four people here of leg pain two of neck pain the lord is saying do not be afraid believe in my love believe in my love it is because i love you that i heal you says the lord the lord is speaking to three families here you have in fighting because of money the lord is saying i will resolve all things surrender to me the lord is speaking to six families here you're worried about uh, a son or a daughter over the age of 30 about their salvation about their well being the lord is saying do not be afraid only surrender to me the lord is speaking to three people here you have a pain from your back going down to your feet towards the back of your leg the lord is healing you right now you can sense the healing as one person here you have a stiff shoulder the lord has healed you right now you can check the lord is speaking to four people here you suffering in in your finances but the lord is saying you're suffering because you have not been faithful to god in your finances in your giving in your tithe in your perspective the lord is saying surrender your life to me and i will remove this stain i will remove it so that you can be mine and can us the worship team to speak as the lord gives utterance the lord is speaking to three people here the lord is saying you seek me but somehow when a storm comes in your life you're not able to allow me to stay with you and you walk away from me says the lord the lord is saying allow me to stay with you and i will calm the storm there are more than 21 people here the lord is showing you visions right now receive it from god obey it as the lord gives you there are two people here with lumps on their body the lumps are disappearing right now is one person here with a knee problem the lord is healing your knee right now trust in god there are four people here they're looking for a new job or something better in your job the lord is giving it to you right now the lord is giving it to you I see three angels walking in this chapel right now and their wings are on fire. showing vision of a dry tree i sense a lot speaking to four people here the lord is saying the lord wants to revive you open your heart to god right now he wants to revive you from the inside out thank you number 77 I sense the Lord speaking to 77 people here. The Lord is saying you're not praying. And when you pray, you don't connect to me. You pray only for your needs. The Lord is saying when you pray, connect to my heart. And I will bless you and I will lead you, says the Lord. The Lord is showing a vision of many white flowers and in the center of these flowers I see a yellow spot. I sense the Lord leading many of us to holiness. And the Lord is saying, I am at the center of this. It is I who am leading you. The Lord is assuring us